In this video, we're going to learn how we can click on a piece of text um, in order to make it A, copyable, or B, so you can edit it. Let me show you the database. We've got a list of organizations here, Apple, Amazon, Google. Um, you don't need to worry about this column, um, but you need a UID. UID is important for the logic we're going to use. It means unique identifier. So just make sure there's some kind of property you can select which is unique to each organization. The next thing we're going to have is a custom list, which will be a list of organizations. Okay, so let's get the organization name on the list and preview. Okay, and we've got our list. So what we're trying to do is that we can click on here. What we're trying to do is that we can click on the name and then maybe change it or just copy the text. Let's get started on that. To do that, we're going to have a text input field. Line that up to the main piece of text we've got there. And in fact, maybe make it the same height. Okay, so that means it should line up quite nicely. Once we've done that, put it directly below the text input and also line it up with um, the width of it too. The default text will be the current organization name and there should be no need for a placeholder here. Optionally, you can also reduce the padding so that it lines up better with the name there. The next thing we're going to do is have another page called variables and on there we're going to have a text input and we can call that selected organization and I like it to put it in a placeholder also so it's visual on my screen when I've got a lot of different organizations. Okay, so what we're going to do now is that when you click on the name of the organization, it changes that input value. And it's going to change it to the current organization UID. The next thing is, on that same name, it's only going to be visible if that input field of variables is not equal to current organization UID. And then on our text input, we're going to have sometimes visible if current organization, um, let's do it the other way, um, if the selected organization variable is equal to current organization UID. Okay, so let's check that out. Okay, you can see we click on it, and now it becomes something we can copy and paste. Now, the next stage of that is let's actually be able to change that and update it. So what we're going to have here is an icon, put it inside our list, and line it up to our text input. Change it to be for the icon that you want, and then resize it so it kind of matches nicely. Then we want to have visibility on our icon that the variable selected organization is equal to current organization UID. So now that will only show when we've clicked on the name. And then the last thing is we want that tick box to update current organization name should be that input. Okay, input's the name of this one here. Okay, done. Um, and we also want that to close that and change the visibility again. So we'll have a change input value on the icon and it's going to change that variable back to empty. So let's see what we've got now. Okay, we've now got a list where we can click on any of these and change them to anything that we want. So let's say we're actually going to have that one be Microsoft. Okay, and let's just simplify that one again, remove that head office part. And you'll find all of this has been changed on the database 
and it's a really nice intuitive way for your user experience in your app. So that's all. Any questions, let me know and I'll see you next time.